Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Azure Essential Show. In this episode, we will discuss how generative AI summarization powered by uh, Azure services can help revolutionize the healthcare industry by enabling better patient care and faster decision making. To join us. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Azure Whiteboarding series as part of the Azure Essential Show. I am your host Harshita Putta. In today's episode, we are going to discuss how generative AI summarization powered by Azure services can help revolutionize the healthcare industry. Joining me today is Manasa, who is a principal data and AI solution lead at uh, America's CSU Microsoft. Hey Manasa, welcome to the show. Hi Harshita, thank you for having me today. Awesome. Um, let's get started. Uh, can you tell us how generative AI uh, is uh, helping revolutionize the healthcare industry with the help of Azure platform? Absolutely, uh, Hashita. You know, applications developed uh, using generative AI has immense potential to revolutionize healthcare industry, both by improving efficiency and also instilling innovation. In my opinion, this helps us all achieve one common goal, which is better care for patients. In the last one year since the inception of Genetive AI, we have seen firsthand many healthcare customers and partners leverage our Azure's comprehensive data and AI services, responsible AI and governance platform, and also our robust security measures to build these uh, applications. You know, there are many creative ones, there are many impactful value add uh, applications that our customers build using our platform. That's very interesting. So can you tell our viewers a little bit more about a particular solution that you work with the customer in the healthcare industry with generative AI? Sure. Uh, you know, there are many use cases that we have collaborated with our customers in the past year, but there is one particular use case where we have done multiples of this with many healthcare uh, customers, and that is referral document summarization. And I think it's fair enough for us to talk about it in the show uh, for that very reason. Um, you know, think uh, think about uh, this, Harshita. You are in a hospital setting and there is a constant influx of patients that are needing attention. Just imagine the amount of paperwork that needs to go through before a patient yes. is there, right? It is immense and it's a manual process. You know, now the physicians have to go through several documents that each patient comes with. Generally, these uh, documents are like, you know, these referral documents include lab reports, their previous health uh, history, and so on and so forth. And for a physician to go through all of these and then get to the patient, it's a long process. It's a manual process. You know, this is where uh, we have seen firsthand Genetive AI playing a very big role and uh, making it really easy for our healthcare customers. You know, now imagine having an assistant built using Genetive AI that is actually going to help our physicians to go through these referral documents, come up with summaries, giving them like, you know, as soon as the patient arrives so that the physician is now paying more attention to the patient's needs rather than sifting through these referral documents. You know, that is game changing. Don't you agree with me? Yeah, definitely. Um, I, I can't really wait to look at the architecture diagram of this amazing solution. So please show our builders how to integrate different Azure services uh, to build a solution like this with Generative AI. 100%. Like, you know, um mm -hmm documents uh, are generally stored securely in storage services like Azure Data Lake Service or Cosmos TV, right? So these referral documents generally are stored in PDF uh, format. The first one and foremost activity that needs to happen here is data extraction. For this, we are going to use uh, Python notebooks in Azure Machine Learning Studio, you know, to retrieve these PDF referral documents from the storage itself. And then using Azure AI Document Intelligence API and using its optical character recognition capabilities, we extract text information from this PDF documents so that it makes it easy for us to work with language models to extract summaries. That's the very first step. The second step is the data manipulation. You know, once we have extracted the text, we need to clean it. And we need to clean it by removing special characters, punctuations, HTML tags, and so on and so forth. You know, sometimes we also need to expand any abbreviations and acronyms so that they are in their full forms. And when we do the summarization, there is better clarity in the summary itself, you know. 
Another activity that happens in this step is tokenization. You know, we need to break down the text into smaller units like words and subwords. And this structured input is necessity for us to work with language models, whether it's large language models or small language models, so that the text is processed effectively to get the summaries. The next step is uh, prompt engineering. To generate effective summaries, we use Jijan templates to craft and fine-tune prompts that suit different types of referral documents. We then leverage our line chain, a summary line chain summary chain, and we use any chat completion models that are available in uh, Azure model catalog to generate the summary itself. Um, the next step is super important, which is the language model evaluation, right? Uh, we use uh, prompt flow eval SDK to leverage our out-of-box AI assistant metrics with, like, like groundedness, coherence, fluency, and relevance. Um, this SDK also gives us an opportunity to create custom metrics to meet the specific business needs and stakeholder needs, you know? By evaluating these AI-assisted metrics, we ensure that the summaries that are generated are of high quality and, and, and made necessary adjustment to improve the prompts as well. And the final step here is continuous monitoring of these evaluation metrics. For ongoing monitoring, we use Azure AI Studio's uh, evaluation dashboard. This helps us continuously track important metrics that we have defined to make sure the summaries that are generated are high quality and meets the standards of the business. So this is how we would put together an architecture for um, solution like patient uh, referral document summarization. Um, amazing, Manasa. So uh, trust is really important um, in an industry, especially like healthcare. Uh, so with the solution that you just shared, um, uh, can you explain a little bit more about prompt engineering and LLM evaluation and explain how physicians can uh, trust the summary provided by AI? No, this is a um, really important question that you have asked, uh, Hashi, and something that our customers should not be overseeing, especially when it comes to prompt engineering and also evaluation strategy for an application developed by Generative AI. Right. Yes. So let's just start with prompt engineering itself. You know, prompt engineering is super crucial because we need to ensure that the generated summaries are accurate, precise, relevant, and most importantly, grounded in the actual referral documents. Another important thing that we can achieve with prompt engineering is generating the summaries in a consistent format. Right. So all of this together will help us provide reliable information for our physicians so that they make the appropriate patient care decision. So prompt engineering super crucial. Now let's talk about evaluation itself, right? Developing an evaluation strategy for summarization is essential for building trust amongst users, physicians, stakeholders, and even the hospital community at large. You know, with the help of evaluation, we um, we ensure that our customers um, are able to come where different language models and also different variations of the prompts so that they can identify the most effective ones in generating the summaries, right? And also with the help of evaluation, it helps us our customers to um, understand how well a particular language model can be generalized across diverse data formats. There are many benefits of evaluation strategy and this is something that every customer that's leveraging Generative AI is including in their you know, solution development. Um, and this helps in ensuring that our physicians have the right information to make the right decisions for their patients. Uh, amazing, Manisa. Thank you for sharing this exciting solution with our viewers today. Uh, I'm sure you would have seen a lot of customer success stories for this. Uh, for the viewers who want to know more about this solution, please check out the description section, uh, which has links to useful resources. If you have any questions or comments, please post them to this video. Uh, do like and subscribe to our channel if you don't want to miss any future episodes. Uh, thanks for watching.